10 most memorable moments from our trip to France. Number 10, cheese and baked goods. Um, but I know that you are not surprised, right? <laughs> so the other day we had a lunch with our neighbor and on the way to his house, we decided to stop by a bakery and pick up something sweet. And keep in mind, this is a 2,500 people village. I just checked, uh, which is pretty small and it is not a touristy town at all. Um, and at 11 a.m., half of their things were already sold out. And I also noticed there was no phone or cam camera sign on the door. I guess they were trying to protect their inventions from being copied by other bakeries. I picked up a fruit tart and it was delicious, very lightly sweetened and very, very fresh. And then also the cheeses. My uh, youngest was did, did not appreciate the cheese store at all. Um, there was a, this pungent smell coming out every time the door opened and he would just uh, hold his nose all the time. Every time we would walk by the store, whether it was open or closed, he would just hold his nose. It was actually pretty funny, but um, the cheeses were really delicious and the variety was very, very rich. And uh, this particular cheese shop that you are seeing right now, I think it's uh, most well known in the area and a lot of locals shop there, uh, which is very, very good sign. Uh, they have a very good selection of cheeses and we always look forward going back there every time we visit friends. Number nine, discovering Paul Duma wallpaper in the main bedroom. I think it was two days before our departure to the US. We were hanging out at the property and trying to get ideas about what to do in each room in terms of renovation and decor. We already opened all the closets, all the drawers we could open. The kids did not find any treasure. They were a little disappointed, let me tell you. Um, there was just this one closet in the bedroom on the third floor, the biggest closet with a key and we opened it and there was a bunch of old wallpapers, but we didn't make anything out of it, but we were just so bored at this point, um, leaving the next day. So I started taking them out of the closet and unrolling and I noticed there was something written in French and then there was the name of the Paul Duma. I didn't have a Wi-Fi, so couldn't um, run a Google search on what it was. But that night we went to the Jeet, uh, everyone fell asleep and I still couldn't sleep because of the time change, um, six hours difference, it really messes up with me. Um, so I took out my phone and I ran a Google search on a Paul Duma wallpaper. And I tell you, it was a mistake because I did not sleep a minute after that. The Our find was pretty exciting. Um, I do hope there is a way for us to be able to take the wallpaper off the wall just because we would like to preserve it. Not that, you know, we don't like it. We love it, but we would like to preserve it. So, and I think it would do better uh, framed, safely framed under a glass. If not, we will obviously uh, keep the wallpaper on the wall and work around it. We found two designs. One is all over the master bedroom. Um, the other one, uh, we only found one roll of it. So my suspicion is it is somewhere um, under uh, current, also vintage wallpaper. We have to find it. We tried uh, to look for it, but we we weren't successful. And I am really sorry. I didn't... My intention is not to make you seasick. I know my camera phone shakes a lot. Um, I did not intend on starting a YouTube channel. All the footage you see, it's uh, taken with my camera phone. It was, it was for us because we knew we only had a few hours at the property and we will be returning to the US. And then um, we just wanted to remember every de detail we could. So all you see, it's, uh, it was simply not meant for YouTube. It was meant for us, so we knew what it was. Number eight, horses. I remember it was a Sunday afternoon. We saw a poster in the city saying there was some sort of horse obstacle competition uh, in a place called Hippodrome in Samoa. So we decided... Uh, 
to go and see what it was. Um, we were never fond of horses. We, I don't think my kids ever seen horses, actually, now that I'm thinking. We live in a big city, so obviously uh, horses you only see on the pictures. So we decided to take the kids, and we got into the car, and we drove through this uh, beautiful countryside, and there were no cars. Um, you could see uh, golf courses, and you could see uh, sheep and cows and uh, horses in the pasture. Uh, it was a beautiful sunny day, and we finally got there, and it was just a surreal experience. Um, I am a fan of for life. I think once we are able to move there full time, uh, I will be on the lookout for uh, these kind of um, events. We really enjoyed it very much. And next is a game of horseball. And this is a game of a horseball. I know, and it's cool. Number seven, city of Samur and Loire Riverview. Samur is a town in the western France. There is a medieval castle on the top of the hill overlooking the city. There is a national riding school, hence the horses I showed you earlier. It is famous for its cave dwellings. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. They are famous for their sparkling wines and for the red wines made with uh, Cabernet Franc. They have some best cheese and wines in the entire Loire region. About 67, 68 kilometers from Samur, there is a city um, of Angers and Angers is considered to be a mini Paris. Uh, but speaking of Samur, um, standing above the city, the medieval chateau is the first thing when arriving. You can see it from any nearby road and getting there just gets more and more picturesque by the minute. It used to be a prison and an ammunition storage and eventually it was bought up by the city and changed into the museum. At the foot of the chateau there is a Saint Pierre Square with plenty of restaurants and bistros per perfect for people watching. Every Saturday morning there is a farmer's market taking place where you can purchase even a live chicken. The bridge that you see right now that we are on, uh, I think it's the most photographed bridge in the area um, to the right, now to the left, you see the chateau and we are approaching the city center. Our gîte was actually uh, nearby this bridge, we could literally walk to it, uh, it would take us like two minutes or so. Um, so that was great, we didn't even uh, needed a car. And this is the view from uh, near the Chateau de Samour. You're on the highest point, as you can see, all those buildings appear very small. It's actually a huge area. There are some wineries around. You can uh, stay for a pic picnic. You can uh, tour the Chateau. 
um, you can take a nice walk. I think the whole thing would take you about two hours to walk around. It's a very nice uh, walk and then you can come down to the square and uh, uh, go to a bistro. There are plenty to, of places to choose from. Number six, the staircase. The staircase was really the strongest point of the chateau, in my opinion and it truly didn't disappoint. Um, it was actually uh, better than what we were expecting and uh, I can't wait to uh, put my hands on it. Uh, and this window shows the old family history. Number five, the countryside. On the farm he had a horse. E-I-E-I-O. I was telling my husband this place reminds me of Italy very much. The streets were very narrow. Um, the houses are made out of stone. There are lots of um, wine yards. Sun was shining bright. It was very, very similar uh, to Italy. Look at the pristine blue sky and the green grass. So soothing, so soothing in my opinion. This was the day that we uh, went to look uh, for the horse obstacle competition and on the way we noticed some uh, horses, um, a bunch of horses, so we decided to uh, um, see what was going on there and we stumbled upon the um, horse ball game that you could see earlier. Number four, Paris. Paris is a magnificent city and I, and I won't bore you about Paris because there's, there are just blogs dedicated to Paris. Um, so I have nothing to say in that matter. You just have to go and see for yourself. But um, it's a nightmare for driving. That's just my first impression, you know, uh, in Boston. Boston is not easy to drive and when we are on the road in the city we always know those people that are coming that are not from Boston because they it's very hard to drive here and we always say uh, well that person must not be from Boston because he just doesn't is not quite sure how to drive here but I tell you Paris is impossible it's impossible for me to drive um, I would never get in a car over there ever it's a good thing they have a very good uh, uh, metro system because, in my opinion, driving in Paris is just too stressful. It causes too much stress. Number three, finding old wall bed crowns. Uh, so these we found in the room with the old wallpaper. Uh, initially, uh, I thought these were just like uh, pieces of wood and then we started moving them around and we discovered um, they are actually old uh, bed crowns and how beautiful they are. They are in pretty dire state, but uh, thank you to all of you that gave me a helpful uh, hints how to restore them. These are made out of solid wood. There are some, uh, there are some termite damage I would think you see those little holes but that's okay I don't give up I do not know how to give up I will restore them to uh, where they used to be and we will hang them on the wall and I cannot wait to show you it will take me a little while but I will show you um, how they are hanging on the wall again this is my number one goal when we get to the chateau um, how magnificent I can't wait I can't wait Number two, serenity of the grounds around the chateau. So when we purchased the property, um, we knew what the building looked like and we knew there were some uh, outbuildings, there were some pictures of those in the listing, but everything else we had no clue what we were going to see. Um, and actually, the, 
honestly, it's just a wide open space and I'm pretty excited because we'll, we'll be able to make it the way we want it. Um, I would love to have some formal French garden, um, also some vegetable garden and an orchard. We did already start the orchard um, and when we get there, um, I have some uh, sketches in my head. Um, I know what I want to do. I will keep you posted on that. Drum rolls, number one, seeing the chateau for the very first time. Um, so when we were uh, finalizing the documents um, to purchase the chateau, we received a map of the property and we looked at it over and over again. So um, when we got to the village, we sort of um, remembered where to turn. And this is, I put my phone on the windshield and this is the very, very first video that we took of the building that we could see with our own eyes. And I swear, as we were driving through the woods, I think I swallowed my own heart like five times or even more. I cannot even um, describe you my emotions. We were all so stressed. We were so excited at the same time. Um, it was really hard to believe uh, what was happening, uh, something that we only dreamt of imagine in our heads uh, we're actually doing it and this was it this was our very own home at this point we were just hoping that um, it is what we were promised and um, and it was we fell in love with it immediately Sunday, 